enjoyed this week's episode and please like this video, share with your friends and doc mates and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us get more viewers like you. Dad got the whole surface sanded down. What'd you use, 110 or 220? I used 120 and then I went to the 220. Yeah, so 220 Most of it grit. was 220. I just Sandpaper, just to clean up the top so we could see what we're working with. And then we found our problem spots. And then I brushed them out. <coughs> and what else did I do? I wire brushed them out. And now we're kind of going back and we're doing some more investigation to see how bad these actually are. This is the bottom of the tank, so arguably one of the most critical parts. Oh, here's my wire brush, so I just, uh, you know, use one of those to clean it up and then a little bit of cleaner to wipe it off. Now over here, I'm working on trying to get the fitting that broke off inside this uh, this uh, female end here. Yay! I mean, but so far, there's nothing pointing to saying we can't reuse this tank. So, that's, that's good. We'll keep you updated as we find them. So we're gonna reuse this fitting, right? Oh yeah. Okay, good. I think we're gonna re-thread. We just re-thread it? Yep. That's why I said if you have a kind of metal one, you could run in there with a metal one real quick and it would clean um, real good. I might have metal ones. We've got a lot of extra you can spare take a little long parts. Yeah, even taking a little water brush now and cleaning it. Yeah, I can do that. Good. Ew, gross. Hey, so the tank's back in the boat, and that was super fast. Just kidding, it's not hooked up. Um, we basically mocked it up so we could position where our inspection hatches will go. So the tanks, as they are, they only have one inspection hatch, when really it needs three, because there's three baffled areas. And so what we've been doing, what we've done, is we brought the tank in to dry fit it, mocked it up with where the cabinetry goes, and now that tells us where we need to open up holes for two more inspection plates. So we'll do one right here, and then the tank goes over and under this cabinet. So we'll just do one somewhere about in there. That'll give us one, two, three inspection ports for our three baffled chambers of the tank. All right. Are you ready? Cutting the first inspection hatch. <laughs> there you go. One done. One done. <laughs> One more to go. How bad is it? Like, looks just like the other. Is it hot? It's too hot. Now to there's touch. no baffle here. There's no baffle. That one doesn't even look as bad as the other one. Let's put some light on that. I mean, it's still really disgusting. Yeah. We're drinking water. Good quality mineral water. Right, we just got this inspection hatch cut. And what do you know? It's the same as before. Baby aliens. We were drinking baby. Oh, look at this wall. Look at that. Alien sacks. Alien egg sacks. Gross. So the other thing I did was uh, filed this down and then sanded it.
so it's not this sharp edge. That was pretty nice, so I'll do that on this one too. Okay, so we just did the starboard tank. Now we're doing the port side tank. Okay. I wanted to show you guys, I mean, clearly you've seen, you know, how gross the aluminum tank is. So the aluminum tanks are original to the boat, 1984. The poly tank, also 1984. We'll see if we can show you inside the poly tank. See it in there? <laughs> Besides a little bit of scum on the walls, it's perfectly fine. <sighs> so now there's a dilemma. The dilemma is, do we get these ones cleaned out and repaired? Because we can put them back in when they're clean and repaired. Or do we maybe find a poly tank? Because I'm super impressed with how clean that poly tank is. That one, with a little wash, that's going straight back into the boat. Um, or integral tanks, integral water tanks. Who knows? I don't know. More shall be revealed, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of fire left we have to do if that's the case, but I don't know guys. We're actually seeing a lot of pitting in here too, like where these stalagmites, or yeah, stalagmites have been growing, there's pitting in there too, so. <sighs> we've got some things to think about, but it was a lot of work today, it was a lot of fun. It was kind of cool playing around with metal. So, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it's a yacht of love. See you guys on the next one.